Decentro Media presence at Token Sky is brought to you in part by DStream. Borderless crypto payments for your favorite streamers and blockchain interface for all major streaming platforms. Welcome to Decentro Report. I'm Decentro here at Token Sky in Tokyo. I'm here with James from Jim Chain. James, thanks for being on the show. Yeah, and thank you for inviting us. Hi everyone, so I'm James Chang and I'm in charge of business development here at Jim Chain. Okay, so this project caught my eye at this event and uh, it is a testament to the fact that there is really no end to the possibilities uh, of blockchain <laughs> and its applications. So that's why I'm here talking to James about Jim Chain to share with you guys. So please tell us about Jim Chain. What's, what's this all about? Okay. Um, so basically our premise is we, we are trying to advocate the idea of sports mining. Um, so we want everyone you know, to be like, uh, uh, working now in training bodies and at the same time you know, get some of our tokens as a reward. You know? So um, it's basically um, we create a incentive for people to work out. Okay. Yeah, based on the GC tokens. Yeah. Okay, so you guys are uh, tokenizing fitness. Yeah. And human health and mental health from working <laughs> out. Yeah, I guess you can put it that way, yeah. That's fantastic. Uh, so the tokenization of fitness happens uh, with this device right here, is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so this looks like just a regular Fitbit, but this is your native wristband correct yeah okay so uh how much does this cost um it's going at 629 yuan um so we are selling it on our, our online web uh web store and it's around 90 to 100 bucks right in US dollars. okay yeah. so i'm gonna i'm gonna just read off of the box about okay. the wristband it's just like a fitbit uh yeah. calorie counter mm -hmm. uh essential notifications for social media messages calls Heart rate monitor, Bluetooth with an app as well, watch for the time, auto sleep tracking, which I think we can all uh, <laughs> use a little bit more of, uh, pedometer for measuring how far you've walked, and uh, also providing useful stats for everything that it measures. So from what I understand, the device measures calorie burning. Yes. And then your system takes that data and rewards the user for the amount of calories burned. Is that correct? Yeah, uh, basically, so as said before, uh, we want to encourage users you know, to be more conscious you know, of the health conditions. Um, so we will reward users based on um, not, not just only the amount of calories that they've burned, um, but also different other factors. But definitely, yeah, uh, one key consideration is the amount of calories that you burn in a certain day, yeah. Let's say I burn a thousand calories. Okay. How many tokens do I get for that? Yeah, we don't do like, um, you know, that simple calculations here. Um, so our final goal is to make sure that the users are there properly you know, training their body, working out. Um, so we employ a, a whole lot of different factors to ensure that the users are really indeed uh, working out. Um, so, oh, so it's not just calories yeah, burned? Yeah, so it's not just calories burned. So it's burned. the whole sort of data set that's generated from working out yeah, that you use to uh, reward the tokens. Yeah, exactly. Like say the heart rate, you know, because by like measuring the heart rate, like. Um, we can, you know, have a measure of the intensity of the uh, exercise, you know, that users engage. So to truly ensure, you know, that they uh, engage in some form of exercises, you know, rather than you know just sitting down and just, you know, I mean, I mean, I mean, we burn calories at a time, you know, but you know, right. it's the, the quality, you know, of the exercise that matters. Okay. Yeah. Right. So um, personal fitness is really funny. If you look at the stats. Uh, after the holiday season and New Year's, you get this huge spike of new gym memberships. And then by mid-February, those new members uh, are hardly going to the gym at all. I can really see this system working to motivate people to really keep up with their fitness. So um, is it true? Does it work? Do you guys have users using the wristband? And how many users do you have? And have they reported that it does actually help motivate them? Oh. Um, yeah, um, so um, we have our application to go with the wristband, and uh, till date we have uh, we have secured around ten and a hundred thousand users. Hundred thousand users. Hundred thousand users. And um, in terms of wristband, uh, we've expanded into the Korean market, and we just. Uh, 
strike a deal with our Korean partner. So we are uh, s selling them um, 2,000 wristbands yeah, okay. for them to sell. Our final goal is to create an ecosystem, you know, revolving fitness. Um, so I think uh, one very important thing that we have to do in order to achieve a goal is to uh, collect enough data. So we have to understand, you know, that people, you know, of a certain social strata, you know, how are they like, um, you know, you know, like fitness conditions. Um, so. Basically, we are gathering data. I mean, anonymously, of course. Yeah. Um, so from wristbands, you know, as well as you know, like the smartphones, phones. Um, so we want to do you know for the big data analysis on that. Um, so to provide a more um, salient, you know, um, recommendation you know, in terms of fitness, and as well as developing a better and next gen product of our wristband as well. So definitely, yeah, we'll take that into consideration uh, when rewarding GC tokens. Yeah. Okay, that's great. So uh, using data to further enhance the fitness experience. Yeah. That's clever. I like it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so who's manufacturing the device? Is it professionally made? Yeah, it's definitely professionally made. Um, it looks professional. Yeah, a company in, in China, I'm assuming. Yeah, um, yep. so um, we've employed a, a major company in China that creates these high-tech wristbands to ensure users with a smooth sailing user experience. Let's talk about your uh, the whole business ecosystem that is involved with Gym Chain. Okay. So I work out, I get some GCC tokens. Uh, can I use them? Um, Where can I use them? Yeah, definitely. Uh, so we have a few ways of using GCC tokens. So first way is that um, we'll be rolling out our online web store, uh, say, at the end of this month. Um, so, I mean, you can buy your daily groceries with our GC token. Okay. Um, and now, um, you can exchange for an iPhone with um, 76000 And third one is um, we will... Um, have some paid content, you know, that will be only accessible if you pay a certain number of, of GC tokens. Okay. Yeah. And uh, what about fitness centers, gyms? Can I? Are there any gyms in China? And yeah, that I mean, accept GCC. Yeah, definitely. Um, so our CEO is the um, um, the president of the Beijing Fitness Union. So you know. Oh, this yeah. is huge. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. So that's this whole project is on a platform of an already established fitness union. Yeah, exactly. So okay, utilizing this connection, uh, we have partnered with like major gyms, you know, around the major cities in, in China, say Beijing, Shenzhen. Um, so you know, some of these like uh, Yi Fitness and Yi Jin Weidu, you know, they're um, like renowned um, gymnasiums you know in China and so we have negotiated a deal so that uh, we allow our users uh, to pay a membership fees with our GC tokens. Yeah. That's fantastic. So it sounds like uh, the road is set for you guys in China <laughs> yeah. and I'm assuming you're here in Japan to expand the market is that correct? Yeah definitely so the um, next phase of the project is basically um, gaining inroads into more um, foreign markets so and that's why uh, we are here at Token Sky in Tokyo um, so yeah, we, we're trying to uh, expand to the Japanese market, and definitely, I mean, also like European markets as well. Yeah. Right. Uh, any plans to come to New Zealand? I would certainly like extra motivation to <laughs> keep my fitness levels up. Yeah. Thank you for the invitation. Yeah, yeah. we definitely consider it. Okay. Yeah. Well, if I can help in any way, make sure you let me know. Yeah. Yeah. Thank nice. you. Uh, so here in Japan and here at Token Sky, has this event been useful for getting potential investors involved? and making relationships here in Japan for expansion. Yeah, I mean, definitely. I mean, we have a, a whole lot of people coming to our booth. You know, I mean, it includes, you know, other like token projects, you know, other ICO platforms, investors, you know, private equity, you know, and there's so many of them. And, you know, we just can't wait to negotiate the deals and sort things out, you know. Well, yeah. I'm, uh, I can foresee some major success for this project, <laughs> yeah, not just in you. Asia, but uh, worldwide, if you guys keep this up. That's awesome. So where is the GCC token currently traded? Is there an exchange that trades the token? Yeah, um, we have ICO uh, on one Singaporean cr cryptocurrency exchange. Uh, its name is KK Coin. KK Coin out of Singapore. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I checked it today. It looked like there was about uh, 300 plus Ethereum volume just in the past 24 hours. Yeah, yeah. We're securing it. Say, uh, yeah, three to 400 um, Ethereum transaction volume per day. Yeah. That's really good. That's <laughs> yeah. That's substantial volume because this is obviously a new project. Yeah. yeah. So we want to say um, perhaps focus more on the decentralized platforms. Oh, okay. To really ensure that you know the users you know that um, trade our GC tokens on these exchanges, uh, you know, you're really having a very safe experience. All right. Yeah. So as far as crypto trading goes. Uh, why would I want to buy GCC? Like, can I, for example, get a discount on your wristband if I buy some GCC tokens and use those to purchase your wristband? Um, yeah, yeah, 
Actually, we've never thought about it, you know, about using okay. GC tokens to, to to buy a wristband, but definitely we would consider it. Yeah, I think it's... it's yeah, you, you guys should provide some motiva motivation for people to buy the token yeah, and get involved. Yeah, that's a great idea, totally. Uh, yeah. People love discounts, and uh, I want the device so I can cash in on my efforts. So, um, yeah. Actually, I just realized I, I could use it in New Zealand. Yeah. And get tokens. It's exactly. I mean, so yeah. you can already use this anywhere in the world, correct? Yeah. So and, be, I mean, and as long as you have the app yes. synced with the device, yes. then you can start working out tomorrow and collect GCC tokens. Yeah. So we've uh, launched our application both on Android and iPhone. Okay. And we have released um, four language versions, English, Chinese, Korean, and um, Japanese. So we are planning to support more languages in the future. and. And yeah, we, I mean, some countries, you know, um, you no know, country that we, we can send a verification code to, um, but we include the countries, uh, more countries in the future. Oh, okay, right. Yeah. Cool. Well, I definitely look forward to you guys providing some sort of discount uh, for the wristband if I buy with GCC tokens. Okay, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I look forward to that. Yeah, we consider it. Yeah. All right. Thank um, you for that idea. So you guys have partners through the fitness union, through your CEO, uh, partners in China. You've got your partner in Korea. Mm -hmm. Who's purchased the wristbands? Uh, what about Europe, North America? Any anything happening with partnerships? Um, yeah, it's, I mean, actually, I'm. Um, so we've attracted, you know, a few like um, European investors, and, you know, and ICO platforms, you know, here at Token Sky. Um, so yeah, we will definitely, you know, talk uh, with them to see what we can make out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Best of luck with that. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, what sort of challenges lie ahead for this project? Okay, I and, think... And how are you going to overcome them? Okay, so I think the, the most predominant two challenges that we have, so one is um, so advertising and publicizing our products into more um, foreign markets. Marketing, you know? yeah. Yeah, so advertising channel you know, across different countries. So that's one. And the second one is to... We, we still want to live in the, the, the community that we have already um, built. The purpose and significance of token is that, you know, it, um, it facilitates the exchange of um, value, you know, through the circulation of tokens. So mm -hmm. uh, we have to force more of that. Yeah. So we we, we think of more contents uh, right now to to make sure that the community is really alive and kicking, so to say. Yeah. Right. Nice. Okay. And uh, is there anything you would like to say before we finish the interview today? And yeah. So here at Jim Chain. Um, our final goal is to create an omni fitness ecosystem, you know, and that is to say we want people all around the globe, you know, um, you know, regardless of nationality, regardless of religion, and regardless of anything, um, just really be motivated, you know, to, to keep um, their bodies in good conditions, in good shape. Um, and, you know, as a stimulus to that, you know, we'll be rewarding, um, you know, users with our GC tokens. And so, uh, we think as a China-based company, the kind of value that we can uh, provide, especially to, like, the uh, Western users, um, is that we will try to um, incorporate, you know, the, the Chinese essence, you know, in, in terms of, like, fitness, um, so, you know, acupuncture, and, uh, and, and also, like, Chinese uh, traditional martial arts as well, you know, the Tai Chi, you know, it's slow and calm, but, uh, you know, it really, you know, gives people in a sense of serenity, you know, so, you know, it's, it's really about mental health. And it is about mental health, yeah, yeah. And at the same time, you know, we want to absorb, you know, the essence, you know, of like the Western, um, you know, medical technologies as well. So basically, we just want to um, fuse, you know, the like Chinese culture um, and the Western culture, and, you know, I mean, definitely culture from other countries. I mean, in terms of fitness, and yep. so we basically amass it and we just sublime it in, into a whole ecosystem. So you know, everyone you know um, around the earth can enjoy. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, I just yeah. like to tell my viewers that when I saw this project, uh, I was immediately interested, and with uh, AI and robotics coming uh, very soon to take a lot of jobs. Uh, what else are we going to have to do but uh, stay <laughs> fit, both physically and mentally? And Gym Chain's really awesome because uh, we're actually monetizing our personal effort to stay healthy, and which will translate to savings for the government and for <laughs> the medical industry and insurance. Uh, so, man, what a tremendous project and a tremendous idea. James, I wish you guys the best of luck, yeah. and uh, I hope to see 
uh, a gym in New Zealand accepting okay. GCC in the future. Okay, okay, yeah, thank you. I can just say something. Yeah, for right sure. Um, so, you know, in China we have this tradition of saying that, you know, health is one and everything else is zero. So, I mean, if you have health, you know, you have the one and and you know, if you have other things, you know, then and the more the merrier, you know, it, it holds, you know, but without health, you know, everything else is just zeros, you know, just a bunch of zeros, it's just meaningless. So we just think, you know, I mean, everyone, health is the most important thing, you know, that that sets the basis, you know, for everything, you know, that, that you want to achieve in life. So and that's why we are promoting, you know, our concept of Omni Fitness ecosystem. That's yeah. cool. What you just said really shows that the <laughs> brains behind this project you guys actually really care that people are healthy both physically and mentally so uh, what an awesome project and uh, check it out online if you're keen thanks for being on this show and thanks for watching everybody this is Decentro from Token Sky yeah and I'm James Chang thank you check out the rest of Decentro report coverage of Token Sky in Tokyo by clicking on the playlist above if you liked this video make sure you like and share it it really helps what we do. Decentro Media is on the ground revealing the best of the blockchain industry and the people behind it face to face just for you. So please subscribe. Thanks for watching.